This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review and it's Smackdown time. We have what you could call two of the flagships among Windows phones. The new HTC One M8 for Windows right here. And we have the Nokia Lumia Icon overseas known as the Nokia Lumia 930. So it's available for you folks too overseas. These two happen to be Verizon editions of the phone. Both full 1080p displays, 5 inches, fast quad-core CPUs, 32 gigs of storage. We're going to compare them now. So here they are, two 5-inch flagship Windows phones, both running Windows Phone 8.1, 8.1.1 on the HTC that just got released, so it has the benefit of a slightly newer release that should come to our Nokia Lumia Icon, otherwise known as the Lumia 930 overseas. Different display technology here. This is AMOLED, which really gives you a whole lot of nice super-duper color saturation and very black blacks. This is a Super LCD 3 display, so kind of a more natural, normal LCD experience. Both of these are quite viewable outdoors. Nokia, of course, has their, their glove sensitivity option on their display, but honestly, the HTC is also so sensitive that I found that wearing thin gloves, I could still operate it as well. Neither of these is small nor light as 5-inch phones go. You know, Nokia likes to build battleships when it comes to their higher-end phones, and the icon is... No exception. It's quite heavy as a 5-inch phone goes. It's also kind of literally a monoblock design here. Polycarbonate, metal frame. Of course, the black one's all black on black. There is a white with silver option. It has pleasing curves, though. Nokia does some interesting things to keep it. Not just a boring rectangle there. Even the glass is curved on the top, which means if you put it on the table, it might actually go sliding around. So be careful of that. Anyway, this one is going to be a matter of which aesthetic you prefer and ergonomics. Some people don't like the, the corners on this. They feel that it digs into their hand. I actually like it because it gives you good grip points, particularly when using the camera. That's nice. You don't want the thing wobbling around. So there's something to be said for that. Also, the matte surface here too makes it easy to hold on to. The HTC, of course, is stunning metal, chamfered edges, all that beautiful stuff right there. 90% metal, which you could say makes it 90% slippery. It's got that brush gun metal back. Now, there are slipperier surfaces than this, but it is a bit slippery. And the curves that make it feel good in hand also make it a little easier for it to slip out of hand. So it depends on what's important to you there. Do you prefer the whole metal look, or do you want something grippy? Do you like the rectangular edges, I leave this one up to you. The HTC is obviously going to be a bit bigger because of those boom sound speakers. The same thing as when we looked at it on Android. They take up some additional space. If you really enjoy using the speakers on your phone, then you're going to love it because the speakers do sound much fuller and richer on the HTC One M8 for Windows than they do on the Icon, which is pretty loud, but it has that rear firing speaker right from that slit back there. So, obvious difference in audio quality. When it comes to headphones, though, they both sound quite good. I actually give the Lumia a little bit of a plus, though, for the Dolby sound. I like the way it sounds quite well over headphones, but both of them are very good. Now, speaking of music, one nice thing is they both have 32 gigs of storage. That's not too paltry by any means. But our HDC has a micro SD card slot on the side here, compatible with cards up to 128 gigs in capacity. There is no expandable storage on the Nokia Lumia icon. So for those of you who want to add a lot of movies or a lot of tunes on the go, more than your 32 gigs of internal storage will allow, you're probably going to gravitate to the HTC One M8 for Windows. Camera quality. Well... Flip side view here. It really depends on which camera you're talking about. The HTC One M8 for Windows has a 5 megapixel camera up front, really noticeably better than the 2 megapixel camera that we've got on the Lumia Icon. Better colors, sharper, more natural looking, more detail. You get the idea. But when we flip them over, we have the Nokia Lumia Pure View camera on the back here. Do a flash. One of the better camera phones on the market. Lots of detail. It can even capture RAW plus JPEG images. Very good detail. So for those of you who are going to take pictures and use them for larger formats than just your phone screen, you can put them up on your computer, maybe for bigger images on your social networking sites for even more professional purposes. Like sometimes I go to trade shows and the camera you have with you is the best camera. So if I see a new device and I want to snag a picture real quick, the camera on this would be the one that I would choose. The HTC One M8 for Windows, just like the Android version, we have the duo camera on the back, and it's a 4 megapixel equivalent. We call it ultra pixels because it's a bigger sensor, so bigger sensor sights. 
that does let more light in and it also focuses a bit quicker too. We know Lumia icon, most Lumia phones, they are not quick focusers. Unfortunately, this will focus quickly. Duo camera for depth. It's, you know, it's sort of, Nokia has a software lens that does or tries to do much of the same thing, adding some depth of field. This is the depth sensing, sensing camera up there. Two, two color LED flash right there. Not nearly as much data in these pictures. If, even in low light, if I look at the same picture and pinch zoom in, you can zoom a lot further on something that has more megapixels like the Lumia Icon. So more of a photography buffs camera. Also, the Lumia Icon has a more complicated kind of camera UI on it, too. The HTC is very simple and straightforward. Nokia uses their kind of circle wheel thing. So here we did some taps to actually reveal these tools on screen, and then we get our circular way of controlling things right there. Probably a little bit less intuitive for some folks who are using this, and then when you're done, you can just tap over here. You can get to other settings by tapping over there. So that's the camera interface here. Tap to focus. Light is pretty good. So that was pretty quick, pretty quiet shutter button right there. And now let's switch to doing the same thing on the HTC. And here's the HTC UI. Also pretty simple, but pretty obvious where your tap points are. Flash control right there. This is the one to switch cameras and camera modes, like choosing panorama, for example. Right there, it's going to bring up your little settings. Your colors to choose from. I think it's a little bit simpler. It's also pretty quick to take a picture. I'm just going to leave it in autofocus mode right there. You can also do a tap to focus if you want. Optical image stabilization on Nokia. No optical image stabilization on our HTC. So you got to be careful for that barn door effect. When you touch the button, it might do a little bit moving around just enough to blur your shot. So again, quick, simple camera for those of you who look at photos mostly on your phone. HTC is just fine. Serious photo buffs. Nokia Lumia icon is going to win by landslide. Another difference is this may seem minor to you, but some people really care about this a lot. The, the Nokia was designed with the old Windows phone design elements in place. So that means you actually get masked on capacitive buttons that are always available on the bottom of your phone right there. You also get a dedicated camera button. So for those of you who care about those things, there they are, the buttons, they're always there. They will never go away. On the HTC, they will go away. You swipe up to bring them back. You can tap to hide them again in any application. So if, if, if that makes a difference to you, well, there it is. In terms of performance, these guys are so close. There is just really not much of a point in talking about Snapdragon 800 quad-core CPUs in the Nokia, Snapdragon quad-core 801, slightly newer CPU. 100 megahertz faster. You're not going to notice 100 megahertz on the HTC One M8. Both have 2 gigs of RAM, both have 32 gigs of storage. Both have the GPS with GLONASS, 802.11, dual band up to AC, Bluetooth 4.0, NFC. Everything else on there is going to be pretty much the same. Performance feels, well, pretty much the same on them. So in that way, yes, the HTC has slightly newer internals, but not enough of a difference that's really a talking point. In terms of custom software, Nokia really has some nice custom software, but a lot of it, well, not a lot of it, some of it's now available for any Windows phone. For example, Nokia Here Maps, Nokia Here Drive, Nokia Here Transit, those sort of things available for any Windows phone. So we've actually downloaded that and put it on the HTC. Nokia has their custom camera application. HTC has their custom camera application. They both have their own photo editors. So um, among manufacturers, they've both done a very good job of customizing the platform as much as is possible. That is adding some specialized apps. Obviously, the UI in these is pretty much set in stone. Windows Phone, you, you, you can't muck it up too much in terms of look and feel. You can control your live tiles, pick which ones you want on here, which ones you don't want. Delete any bloat where you want. That's equally true of both of these phones right here. Both fast and responsive, both doing the same things right here. Both play games equally well. So in terms of performance, same. And while we're talking about the backs of the phones, something else to mention is the Nokia supports wireless charging. The HTC does not. So those of you who are fond of wireless charging, just lay it on a charging pad and charge it up. You get that with Nokia. You don't get that with HTC. One more thing to talk about in terms of bodies. This being a metal body phone, you will feel the heat from the back of your playing games uh, using the GPS. The Nokia, not so much. The Nokia does have these slowly sliding away on the table feature. Like I said, that curved glass, if you like to keep your phone face down on the table, well, it will eventually potentially walk away. As you can see right here, it's leaving the frame. Bye-bye. In the end, 
what it really comes down to is camera. If camera quality is the most important to you, resolution particularly, lots of detail, you're going to want the Nokia. If you want a fast snapper for casual shots, you're just going to look at it on your phone. The HTC is fine for that. Expandable storage, if that's important to you, you're going to want the HTC One M8 for Windows. You cannot expand your storage on the Nokia Lumia Icon. 32 gigs of storage built in on both of these for internal storage to work with. Both of these have quite good sound through headphones. I give the Nokia a little bit of an edge with the Dolby sound there, but obviously the front-facing speakers on the HTC One M8 for Windows, well, they blow every other phone away. When it comes to the display, you got the AMOLED with the, the vivid, well, better-than-life colors and the really deep blacks, and then you have the kind of more stately, even keel, everything is very natural-looking HTC display. That one really is a matter of personal preference. I think most people would probably enjoy either of these displays quite well. Both of these run Cortana. They both have a GPS. They both have dual-band Wi-Fi. They have 4G LTE. You get the idea. So there it is. I think for most people, it's going to be expandable storage, metal versus polycarbonate, what kind of camera they want. So there you have it, the HTC One M8 for Windows, a little bit newer, a couple of neat little party tricks going on here, and the incumbent, the Nokia Lumia Icon, or 930, depending on where you live in the world. They're both fabulous Windows phones, and it's not an easy decision, I think. In the end, really comes down to if camera and camera resolution, camera quality are important to you, it's going to be the Nokia Lumia Icon. If you want the slightly newer everything, currently slightly newer version, the operating system on the HTC, a little bit newer Snapdragon CPU, well, oh, and the TV, don't forget the TV remote control, then it's going to be the HTC. Either way, if you're into Windows Phone, you're not going to go wrong. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Be sure to watch our video reviews of each of these products, read our written reviews, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.